You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's iPad application review right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, in the past we've been talking a lot about iPad apps for uh, photographers specifically. Well, we're going to take a look at an application that's not specifically for photography, but it'll really help you out with pre-production, planning, planning events, and all kinds of things that photographers have to do to manage their business. It's called iThoughts HD, and it's a mind mapping utility that's perfect for anybody that really needs to take all of their creativity, get it down into one place, and then share that with other team members members or even transfer that to their desktop computer for further review or modification and then get that stuff back and forth. So let's take a really quick look at iThoughts HD for the iPad. iThoughts HD is a terrific application for mapping your thoughts and ideas and doing all of your pre-production work. Now for those of, the, of you that are familiar with mind mapping software, you'll easily recognize this interface. But if you're new to mind mapping software, I'll show you quickly how it works. So what I'll do, these are called maps. So I'll go in here and I'll hit the plus button and I'll create a new map and I'm going to say this is my review. So I'll type that in here. And what will happen is a new uh, map will be created and the central topic is in the middle. It's just a little bubble and that's what everything is going to branch out from. So let's look at our review. iThoughts HD allows you to create different uh, branches from this so you can either do a child, a parent, or a sibling. So first what I want to do is I want to do a child of this and I want to say I want to talk about the uh, features. So I'll pop this over here and I'll say these are the features of this application. Now when I'm done with that these three icons here allow you to do uh, either a pa parent or a child or a sibling and I'll explain what this little guy is here. So what I want to do is I want to make some uh, children of this and so what I'll do is I'll hit this to the right and that's going to add some, sorry, going to add some children of that and you can see that pops out. So the feature one easy to use. I'll add that there and it's there and I can actually um, drag this and zip it over here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to select this. I'm going to add a new child and I'm going to say lots of fun. And so you can go on and on like this adding a bunch of things here. So once you have that, um, you have a very robust application. You can go in here and say, you know what, fun is something that we do and so I want to add uh, some icons to that. I'll hit this I over here and then you can add an icon like a red flag, yellow flag, different lights, important ideas, happy, sad, etc. There's all kinds of things that you can do here. So let's say this is uh, thumbs up because it's fun. And you can, uh, in your in your map you can make sure that these mean something so it's not just an arbitrary thing you're putting on there. You can put a start and stop date so we'll say you know what we're going to start this today and uh, we have to make sure it's done tomorrow and then you can track progress. Let's say we have it 25 percent done and so for project management you can actually use this for some of that stuff. Um, also let's say that uh, um, I want to go in here and delete one of these things or move it well, I'll show you that. Actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load in a map that's a little bit more robust. And one of the things that I love about this application is that you can import and export to popular desktop mind mapping software uh, like MindJet, which I use constantly. So I'll go in here and I have some maps that are saved. Now, the way to, to uh, import and export these maps, I'll show you that quickly right now, is there's this little button right here. It's called Transfer and you can transfer things through email, you can use Wi-Fi. So it took me about uh, 10 seconds to do a Wi-Fi transfer, setting it up and everything to get back and forth between my MindJet software. You can use Dropbox or Box.net. You can do all kinds of different uh, configurations. So you can use the cloud or you can just use Wi-Fi or email to get your, uh, your mind maps back and forth. So I'm going to look at one that I previously imported and this is called Creativity. And this is a creativity workshop that I taught uh, a few years ago. And this looks like a very simple map, but actually uh, when I expand this, and I can expand just by hitting the little plus next to the icon, you'll see that this becomes a little bit larger. So creativity here has a little note icon on it. If I hit that, I hit this eye up here, and then I hit the note button, I can read all the notes that I have in that uh, note. So I can close that. I can go over here and look at doing and as soon as I expand that you can see that I have many many topics here and so I can expand that even farther and you can see that this goes out and goes out and goes out 
using my, uh, I can just squeeze this in to see what's on here. I can zoom in. And this gives you a lot of uh, features that are you would find in a desktop application. So let's say that I wanted to take something like, and I'll just shrink this a little bit, an application or a, uh, uh, an idea like this one, bad ideas gone good, which is one of my favorite topics, and I want to move that somewhere else. Well, I can push this, hold it, and now I can move it and say I'm going to attach this to uh, the brain. And it'll say, do you want to copy that whole branch or just want to move it? Well, I just want to move it. And there it is. It's all moved over there. And so if I hit brain, you have all these different things that are in there. So anyway, there's my bad idea has gone good. This is a very, very big mind map that uh, I've worked on over the years. And so it's very robust. And I'm showing you this to let you know that you can use this for uh, very, very um, complicated mind maps. And it works just great. When you're done, you can share those with other people using the export feature, either sending it through email or Wi-Fi transfer, log, log it on to Dropbox. You can synchronize your maps, and so if you're working uh, on two different iPads, you can do that as well. Um, and then there's a very robust uh, help features in this as well. So if you're new to mind mapping and you want to know, like, how is this going to help me out, there's some getting started tips, and so it'll walk you through all the different features, and so you can see exactly how this works. Um, there's some quick tips. There are even keyboard shortcuts that you can use if you have your iPad hooked up to a keyboard. And so it's a very, very robust application for doing your mind mapping and creating ideas, planning out projects, managing schedules, and all the things that you normally do with mind mapping software. Well, that's the iThoughts HD application for the iPad. It's a phenomenal tool for managing all of your thoughts and ideas. We didn't have time to go through every single feature of the application, but you can see if you could dig in, you can use this application for managing uh, schedules, projects, sharing ideas across teams, all kinds of things. I'm a huge fan of mind mapping software, and I use this one on my iPad all the time. Well, if you have an application that you'd like us to see reviewed right here on Adorama TV, you can send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. Well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.